So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. The Bayern fans singing their songs. This indeed is a super club in so many ways. Well, hello, one and all. This, of course, the penultimate game before the big day, and there is a matching sense of occasion here. Uh, just waiting for the last few supporters to come in. So many people wanted to make it here, and there is congestion outside the ground. I'm not surprised to hear that. Well, the first leg was a tale of two contrasting sets of fortunes, and both sides, in their respective manner, would be attempting to convince themselves that it is not quite over yet. Old Trafford rising to the occasion as only Old Trafford can. Some terrific scenes at the Stretford end. Welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. The Camp Nou once again decorated in the colours of Barcelona. This is what greets the players every time.
is always a special buzz on the opening day of any cup competition. The first and only time when all teams, regardless of stature, history, reputation, start from the same position. Everybody can have the same hopes, everybody the same dreams. This could be our year, we're going to do it again, it will be us at last. Those are the sorts of things we hear year on year. Hardly a surprise then that everybody is raring to go. New shaped stand here at the Bombonera, draped in blue and gold. Truly, this can be a menacing place. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. Tevez. That is as far as they're going to go. And it's Tevez. Tevez! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Tevez sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Goes for goal! It's in! And Boca Juniors take the lead! Wow, he was never going to miss from there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes.
evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. As you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to... And that's that. Portugal are the conquerors of Europe. Winners of the final in a European Championship that has truly delivered. And this is an honour which is truly deserved. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.
Is there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again. And yes. This could well be it. An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the palm, this fella is definitely no slouch. Thank you. 